What's up, YouTube? Cloud for Man 220 and welcome back to another part of the United Provinces campaign. So in the last part, I was talking about Assas Loren. We did fight off a couple where we killed a rebellion. There's a, another roaming French force over here. I'm not too worried about them unless unless they come stupidly close. Like I was able to get to this army down here in one turn. So if they come, you know, if they try to raid any of these things and repairing, I'll just hit them again. And yeah, that's the plan basically. And then my forces here are still building up. Kind of afraid of the, the French forces there. But I should definitely build the governors. That gives us musket men. Okay, that would be pretty cool. So get some musket men there. We're still being blockaded and raided. The pirates seem to like helping the... Uh, well, he's... Looks like a Spanish... Yeah, De Silva. That's probably a Spanish pirate helping the Spanish. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, in order to get rid of the pirates, you have to take over this little island here. Trinidad and, and Tobago, or Tobago, and then the Leeward Islands. Yeah, Leeward Islands. Um, yeah, those are all the pirate havens, basically. So now back to Europe. I'm, I'm training some more forces back here. I think I'm going to give my guy a Dragoon unit. So I'll give him a Dragoon unit, and then this army can take down Flanders, and we'll push Ass Ass Loren. Just want to get, you know, I'm really just trying to draw French forces away from there, you know, out of no problem engaging this cavalry. And that was my mistake for leaving um, Flanders open when I knew there were French forces in the area just south of them in Ass Ass Loren. So, and I'm sure there's another French rebellion on the way also, because my army's gone. So that could be really bad. You know, oh, I got a gentleman. Nice. <laughs> Look at these guys. <gasps> My general died. Okay, time to get a new general. And he's gonna go take on Charles. Oh, that was actually quite nice. And I managed. Did they raid this again? Okay, good. <gasps> Savoy's even wants to get in the action here. Savoy. Paris is going to be mine whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay, my income should be up again. Yep. And yeah, more forces are being trained here. I really need two armies in Europe, and that's exactly what I'm doing, basically. This is a great army, actually. Could be much better. Okay, and then we might want to repair these buildings. Yeah, they're not too expensive. So we'll repair those buildings there. And go back over to America. This army is training up still, so can definitely take on this little force here. It'd be nice to kick the French out of it. I need to be working on a navy. Do I have any navy bases around here? No, I do not. I need to get a couple fourth rates. I do not have the necessary port, I do not think, to get that. No. So I'm going to need to do some naval research. Probably this thing to get me a dry dock. Naval advances? Yeah. Can you get second range ship of the line? That's sick. I need to like get better at the naval combat, so we'll probably see one or two naval engagements in this campaign. Oh, you, you bet we're going to fight this. All these light units. Let's go. So I'm in, they were trying to move around me, so I just intercepted that force. That's where there was an X there, and, the, and then you know, the swords to actually fight it out. So that's good. Wow, we were able to intercept that force. Because now we'll be able to... Uh, we'll be able to go into uh, Assas Loren to after we push back these forces. So I need to get a strong navy. I need to, you know, maximize those trade ports. I will go to war nations over those trade ports. Those uh, trade nodes. And honestly, this cannon can basically just face the other way. I don't even want it shooting. And the militia are just here, basically, and so are the pikemen. Uh, 
basically just to absorb fire. And uh, these guys are going to be deposited. They're, we're going to be left behind in Flanders. They're not going to come with me to uh, to take on the enemies at Assessoren. Okay, I lied. Maybe the cannons don't need to be facing backwards. You can see I'm going to stop some units so we can open fire. I'll just let those guys keep shooting in. I'm not, not too worried. Yeah, so it managed to kill 16 of my men. It's another small force scattered. Can you believe three of those cavalry are able to take over my settlement? Okay, now I've got to look at the topography. So I want to be roughly like... It's going to give them a hill advantage, especially down downhill. I'm going to shift my forces this way. I want to keep my general around here too, along with my dragoons. By shifting this way, I'm going to deny my enemy the hill advantage I would have had there, because I would have been the uh, on the lower part of the hill. It's nice to have some full units, not like 10 men for some of, the, some of those units. And my dragoons want to get their sword bloody in this I don't want to just sit here. I'm going to let all my men fire and I'm going to go into squares. Give them nothing to charge. Okay, pikemen, you can... You can engage. I think there's something about a horse that just makes it not want to charge a square. I remember a long time ago, there was like a joke about, um, you know, my ad teacher was asking on my subscribers, like, what's a square, like, for geometry? And he used, like, my definition or something of a square from Empire. It's like a formation in a, in a square form to repel cavalry. <laughs> I think he said that or something, and the teacher probably was saying, like, what? <laughs> yeah. So next time you're in geometry class, right, you can, you can make that joke and see if the teacher laughs or not. Probably won't. Yeah, I'm a history major in college here, so I finished my math. I had to take, which is nice. Really? <laughs> what is up with this bar? One thousand versus 141 men. Okay, another quick little battle here. Yeah. 100 men, all militia and like armed citizenry against a thousand man army. 1,100 man army with line infantry and dragoons. Hey, it makes us fight more battles. Not complaining, right? <laughs> you guys are going to see some more quick battles. It's not bad overall. Okay, I don't even need these guys. Let's move up. These are the survivors from the last battle. You may fire one ready artillery. But no, you may not, because these guys are right here. I want some horse cannons. I like those things. Because they're, they're fast. There's three of them, so they're not... Oh look, these guys want to engage my dragoons. Take them down, dragoons. <laughs> say say attack. Come on men, let's move up. How are my dragoons actually doing? Oh, they're killing it. I mean, these are just light cavalry after all. Well, these are militia. The cool thing about Dragoons is they can dismount. Now, I rarely do that. Those guys just decide to run away without a fight. 
Now I rarely do that, but it's actually quite effective. What is this guy doing? Take him down, Dragoons. Oh no, my men are killing my own guys. Look at this sneaky guy, feigning a retreat. Probably should have these guys bayonets fixed. Nice. Well, see, that was nice and quick. Another quick battle. I think they call that a close victory. You know, I love Empire, but sometimes you just gotta wonder. <laughs> 2000. For a trade agreement with you and your allies, Wittenberg and Bavaria and me, you're my ally. Why not just a trading agreement and I'll give you like, I'll give you like a thousand. We'll do that. Okay. Well, I don't even need to trade with you, Austria. Not even that good. You can see the Ottomans even took a piece of your territory down on the map down there. Lithuania. I'm not going to give you the new world basically <laughs> why would I give them like a settlement like one of my two in the new world so yeah we've had a lot of victories against the French recently which is pretty good pirates I'm getting my fleet ready you just wait oh good I'm happy the workers are riding Sounds like a good thing. Okay, I'll repair you. Militia. Well, everyone but the militia. And the cannons. They didn't really do that much for me. To assess the rent. Look at all that. Do they have any walls? Oh, they have walls. Darn. Well, at least I let them finish the military governor's barracks for me. <laughs> right? Let's see. Now, anything else that I could... Oh, you need some cobble roads. And these guys need roads, period. I have some money. I really want to like it. Okay, this guy is working on that. You, I would like to focus on naval shore facilities. Yes. So I spend 2,000 coin to get one more. And I possibly get some rakes out of it. I'm okay. So let's see. This guy could be upgraded. These guys have patriotic fervor. Wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. I almost want to destroy the school in Amsterdam and just build some industry where that wealthy town is. I'll go wipe out this army. And I'll go back, repair it. Most of France is repaired though, which is good. Could possibly, I should probably try to repair that port. Cool. You know, this campaign's a little slow to begin with. I mean, I've had a lot of battle. Whoa, 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 there's Spanish forces. Well. There goes the neighborhood, literally. Yeah. Okay, they they took that over. That sucks, because that was where I could make militia and line infantry. Okay, I think one more bow unit, and we should be able to take on Guyana. I'll just have to bring an army over here. I'm impressed the Spanish actually landed a naval invasion, though. I doubt this, but let's see if Spain wants a peace treaty. Didn't think so. Good. Ottomans will always trade. Fine, I'll, I'll just... I'll give them the money, you know. I just didn't want to, but now I have a... Wow, I have no... Taxes, trade isn't even that good. Okay, how do I have such a high naval upkeep? Do I have a navy somewhere? 
there's a list. Oh. Yeah. We can delete that boat. Oh, I do have a large fleet right here. I need to, get, I need to be able to defend this, but... Yeah. I need to make some more fleets. Like, trading fleets, but I have to go around Spain. I could go out to here, but it'll take my men longer. But that might be a safer option than trying to sail past Spain and Morocco and the Barbary Pirates. I'm sure are roaming around there. Okay, so let's end another turn, as I'm going to lose my colony in the New World, unfortunately. <laughs> They're coming out to fight me. Okay. So the goal of this is to fight off all the spamming cavalry. <laughs> I wonder why they're spamming Militia Cavalry. I mean, I'm totally fine with it, to be honest. Just getting that Cavalry destroyed. Because it's pretty cheap Cavalry. And it really doesn't... With my army, it really doesn't take too much to stop it. I just gotta be careful when I get charged. By the Cavalry. To uh, be in a fully formed square. And maybe fix my bayonets. Plug bayonets take a long time because right now these are oh, these are plug bayonets. I'm trying to get ring bayonets so it doesn't block my gun completely. I mean that makes that makes sense to me. I mean let's try to get some shots in this cavalry. Look at them staying just out of range. The gendarmerie, the militia cab. They trot around getting shot to pieces. I'm cool with it though. But I am on a hill. Everybody's reloading. Funny, more of these guys, even though we're reloading. Oh, he's got his pistol. He just took out someone, I think. Yeah, a lot of cavalry. You know, I'm cool to be up on this hill, too. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this army right here, or that unit. I'm gonna switch the pikemen over here and I'm gonna put them in like a pike wall. Kinda like a phalanx, really. And this way they should kinda help protect against any kind of cavalry on this flank, because I'm I think the cavalry's coming. They have their own pikemen too. So I'm not too worried about these guys. I do have dragoons in my lion tree right there. Militia doesn't stand a chance against my units too. Quick pikeman, I need you to get in the pike wall. Can I pull this off is the question. Quick, pike wall. No, right here. Oh. And that's the grand attack. I was, wow, they've been hitting on this flank. I'm gonna switch those guys over. They're pushing straight into my center. Come on, take these guys out. We have our bayonets fixed here. Mass withdrawal. You know, the pikemen don't actually fight with their pikes. They use a sword.
These guys want to play with bayonets. Let's go. Fix your bayonets, man. They want to have a melee brawl. I'll keep this unit back here with gunpowder, though. Okay, sorry about that. My cavalry is engaging these guys right here. And it looks like we did route their whole center. Basically. And now these guys are coming in to help. My dragoons are not. They were. Well, they're being charged the whole time, basically. Let's see, we have our bayonets on. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. So yeah, that should go in my favor now. And looks like everyone basically routed. Another easy victory. Easy, easy, easy. And 449 men lost. I lost 170. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that nice star fort. I think they already had that there. Yeah, I lost this little island. That's okay, the Spanish can improve it for me, and then uh, Prussia wants it. Everyone wants Dutch Guyana. Um, that's okay, I'll let the Spanish improve it for me, I'll come back and take it. <laughs> because my colonies are not gonna be in the New World, are not gonna be that weak. Really? They assassinated him again? I gotta get back to Paris. Okay. Now, yeah, this is the enemy capital. And they refuse to surrender, so I will just take it. Quebec arises, France is destroyed. And no more little armies. But there's a rebellion. So that's kind of annoying. But France is gone now. I have this territory. I'm trying to figure out why most of Europe hates me. Especially Italy. I'm at war with Prussia. That kind of explains it. I forgot I was at war with Prussia. Huh. Let's try ending that. I don't want to be at war with pretty much these guys. Yeah. Prussia. Really don't want to be at war with. But I doubt these guys will, will say anything. I can trade with Persia. I'm not gonna give you a thousand. That's for sure. That's hilarious. Quebec is indifferent and will trade with me. Louisiana should want to trade too. Nope. They're hostile apparently. How is Louisiana at war with those guys? I'm not trading with the 13 colonies. It's well, Wittenberg is allies with Austria, so they shouldn't be messing with me because I'm allies with Austria too. Okay, let's repair that. Okay, well, that's just about enough for this. Uh, Oh no, someone died. We'll have to pop out a new gentleman soon. That's enough for this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next part. We are going to try to uh, really get rid of these rebellion. And then the arm once Paris finally calms down, I might just... I'm just going to suck it up and pay for the theater. Once Paris relaxes a little bit... The way we put the Grand... Awesome. So we'll do the Grand Opera House. Was this even better? Middle class... I'm gonna save up for that. But once I do that and France calms down, you bet your you bet that we're gonna na walk onto Savoy and like raise the city to the ground. Like there there should be no reason they're attacking me. And Italy's pretty profitable, I'm not gonna lie. And they don't like me anyway, so like what's the point of not conquering them? I gotta keep in mind my objective, so I do have to take over parts of uh, South America. Oh yes, we have our army here too. 
I could upgrade this to a military governor's camp, which this gives me like this isn't it? No, actually, it's, it's a lot of state house would be nice. Nice. These are rebels. Medicine man. Oh, okay. We're gonna back up. Medicine men are scary units. I should have just let the French show way to take out the French there. Oh, but then again, this is a decent force. I might as well. Get a general. Give my men some more courage. Because I'm going to take out that. Yeah, this this gem mine field is amazing. So we'll do that. Spanish took over that guy. So yeah, I'm going to be expanding along this area here in the Mediterranean. Uh, no, the, Car the Caribbean. Definitely not the Mediterranean. And yeah, we'll see. See this campaign goes. We're doing pretty well so far. Already taking on a major world power, the French. And yep, yeah, we're doing pretty well. See you next part. Cut from in two two one. Sign off.